What's going on? What's going on, man? It's your boy Richard Face TV, man. We always working, we always grinding. Late nights, 4 a.m. in this motherfucker grinding. I got my boy True Cash in the building, man. Pop your shit, dog. Yo, what's going on, man? True Cash out of North Augusta, man. By way of Augusta, I'm up here in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? We finna get it in real quick, man. We in your live, let's do it. Cool, cool. That's dope, man. I'm glad you brought up where you was from, man. You come from an area where people work hard and get money and they take care of their business. So how did you apply that to your music career? Um, shit. I mean, it's like an everyday thing, you feel me? I had to grind. I had to go to work, clock in. You know what I'm saying? Shit, really, you need that to, uh, to come to the, the to get to the level that I'm at right now, you know? It ain't just no motherfucking handout, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You got to... Apply pressure, even if you gotta, you know, clock in or some shit like that. You feel me? The guy do what I had to do. Mm-hmm. I'm here now, though. Mm-hmm. They do it. That's what's up, man. Um, why do you feel like a lot of people don't want to buy into the whole concept of having to clock in and grind to get to where you gotta go instead of want to tape and get it overnight? Scared of what somebody gonna say. You motherfuckers be worried about their image, man. Look, this shit costs. I and mean, these motherfuckers ain't walking around handing out hundred thousand dollars. Two, three hundred thousand. I ain't handing that shit out. You feel me? You gotta make them want to hand that shit out. And shit, if it take you clocking in, the motherfucker pay for a video or a studio time. You feel me? So sometimes you gotta do that. I feel that. I feel that. Are you one of the first, you know, mainstream artists that's gonna come out of your city? You know, in the last twenty years, for say. Mm. Nah. Well, I, yeah, out of my city, yeah, I'm the first. Period. Yeah. But it's other than surrounding areas. You yeah. doing their thing. I'm talking about where you, where you. Yeah, like, I am. Yo, I'm yo, the first. Yeah, you the first. the first. Yeah. So is that like a you 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 just got you just got signed to Paper Trail? How does that feel? What kind of opportunity is that for you? Shit, a big one. It's a blessing. Came in here, I ain't seen nothing but more money. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? No, it's a real situation. Everybody around real. Everybody in tune with everything that's going on. You know, that shit. Well, it is it, what it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what's up, man. So, man, where do you get that drive from, brother? Just be up right now. It's 4 o'clock in the morning, man. You in the yo, man. You just made a banger. And you, you in the studio every day working, 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 working. Like, you in here every day working, man. Like, how does that shit make you feel when you have to leave home and come to work and get away from that just to come back and make sure the family's straight? Oh, shit, I ain't working no more. I didn't quit my When time. I say work, I'm talking about this is work. Oh, like, studio type shit. Yeah, oh, yeah, studio type shit. Like, work, um, yeah. Shit, it feel good because I know at the end of the day it's going to all pay off eventually. You know what I'm saying? So, shit. I sit in this motherfucker all day. I ain't even yeah. give a damn. I yeah. sit in there and rock that bitch out. Yeah. When did you find yourself as an artist? When I was 12 years old. Mm-hmm. When I sat in the living room with a Walmart mic and speakers and made a song. Okay. I knew I had to do it. Okay. For real. Hey, man, so tell me how I feel, man, to, like, you know, watch your, watch your dreams start to manifest and come true. You start to be in a situation where you're around goats like Future Hendrix, 550, and et cetera, et cetera. You're around this shit. Like, you dreamed about this shit, now you're around this shit. How that shit feel when you wake up to that reality? Hey, man. You feel rich. Yeah. It's a rich <laughs> feeling. Yeah. Hey, man. It's <laughs> going. Yeah. For so, sure. um, like I said, I asked somebody this earlier part of the day, I'm going to ask you, what is your purpose on life? Why do you think God put you here? To be greater than what I, to be better than how I was the day before. Yeah. I feel like that. Yeah. That's why I'm here. I'm here to show somebody else that they can do what I did if they just stayed on. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a um, like a. I'm just an example. Like, he put me here, I'm an example. Uh, Look at him, you know what I'm saying? He did this, you can do it, you feel me? Yeah. Yeah, all right, what's going on? So, man, where did you get that mentality from, man, with just being able to go to work and manage your money and be able to put yourself in a position where you can invest into your career and get here? Shit, watching people like 550 Future. Shit, it made me want to do it. I had to do what I had to do to get where I got to go. Shit, them niggas is motivation. That's all it was. I fuck with that. I fuck with that, man. Well, shit, man. I ain't gonna hold you up, man. I know y'all get back in the yo, man. Keep making these bangers, man. Shit, appreciate you for the quick interview. Real bangers. You know what I'm saying? Real bangers. Real, real, real bangers. Yeah, they really, yeah, they really. Hey, man. Out, man. Yeah, pop your shit, man, before we say, man. Real bangers, man. Got a bag on me for a reason.
We ain't gonna run no more. Mm-hmm. Alright, okay. yeah. 